The DNC sends a letter to your sentencing judge, Manuel Real, federal judge in Los Angeles, telling him that they were victimized by Johnny Chung and that you took advantage of them. And because of this, the judge should throw the book at you. As you said, the DNC portrayed themselves as a victim, victimized by Johnny Chung. And when the judge uh, today the sentence totally fight high all the way to the last day of December 14, 1998. The first sentence he said, it's very strange. The giver come pray guilty in front of me and give me get off free. And the second sentence I'm going to quote and quote, he said, if the Mr. Richard Solomon of the DNC and then the DNC, the uh, DNC chairman, Don Father. These two gentlemen doesn't know what's going on here. They are two dumbest politicians I ever see. And the third sentence, he said, it's very strange why our attorney general, General Reno, does not appoint independent counsel. And this is after he's read your secret grand jury testimony. So he know all my okay. sentencing information. This FBI agent present, immediately you're put under, you and your family, put under protection yet again. This was, uh, as I recall, on a Friday. You're in protection Friday night. Someone in the FBI or the Justice Department decides to call off the team protecting you to sign them off your case immediately and permanently, again to their surprise and to their disappointment. Yeah. How did you feel when that happened and what did you do about that? Well, that was, a, that was on Saturday morning. I found out all the FBI was called off and I called you, Bob. I called my pastor in our church and then uh, we all met and you guys decided to protect me and my family from that point and the following Monday or Tuesday I called the FBI office and happened to be the U.S. assistant attorney again on the phone with me and he said Mr. Chong your case is over as a normal American citizen, what did you do if you feel your life in danger? You just call 911. I said, what? They just call 911. I said to my probation officer, they asked me to call 911. And she said, what? I said to Judge Manuel Rio, my sentencing judge, and he also said, what? Call 911. I made a mistake. Indeed, I paid a huge price for that. But I want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for His mercy and grace. And uh, I want to thank my family, my church member who prayed for me all the time. But since the day one I became American citizen, I gave my loyalty to the United States over I want to send a message to the President of the United States. Mr. President, my loyalty to the United States, not for sale. Never. And this package was, you didn't ask for it, unsolicited, but they tell your attorneys in this package how you can take the Fifth Amendment. My attorney is a fine and good attorney at the West Coast. Besides, every American attorney, they know how to take effect. That's the message I want to say here. So they didn't need instruction on what the Fifth Amendment was or how it could be invoked? They sent a package to my attorney for what purpose? What was your attorney's reaction to receiving this package? Oh, he said in the nationwide television, ludicrous. Congress, David Chippers, they don't know about what's happening with General G. But the FBI certainly was aware. Now the FBI, at one point, develops a plan 
to arrest General G at the Los Angeles International Airport and they would need your cooperation. What do they ask you to do in that situation? At one point, the FBI told me that, and the Department of Justice people, they said, General G had to come to visit the United States at least once a year. And then uh, also he got a son here in the United States. And then uh, they were thinking to take me to the airport, international airport in Los Angeles and uh, try to pretend to put some blood on my mouth. And then uh, the only thing I need to do is point the finger to General G when he arrived. And then uh, that, that's all they want me to do. I say, if you really want me to help, you can really hit me. You don't need to put a blood on my face. Okay, you can really hit me and then we can go over there. I can, I said, I can go over there and point my finger to him. This is a gentleman.